Around the world there are many exotic names for the local winds, like the Scirocco, the Mistral and the Levanta in Gibraltar. Here we have the Dursley Draft. I made that up, by the way. <laughs> anyway, on with today's show. It is uh, chicken korma cooked in a slow cooker. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's look at the ingredients quickly. Uh, oil to brown things off. Ground coriander, smoked paprika, ground almonds, double cream. Cumin, uh, turmeric powder, sorry, ground cumin, turmeric powder, a little bit of chilli, a couple of teaspoons of sugar, a uh, piece of ginger, a couple of cloves of garlic. I'm using my elephant garlic because I've got some left over. I'll make some chicken stock in a minute, I'm about 300ml of that. A couple of squirts of uh, tomato puree, some onions, you will notice these are show onions, <laughs> and some chicken. You can use chicken breast, but I've got some diced up because it was on offer. Um, so uh, let's get the spices mixed up ready. So we need a teaspoon of smoked paprika, any paprika, don't have to be smoked. Teaspoon of the uh, ground cumin, generous teaspoon, uh, whatever. Teaspoon of ground coriander, ground coriander. Make sure I'm not cheating. Teaspoon of turmeric. Got my lid on there. These are turmeric. That's maybe yellow fingers. <laughs> uh, sugar chili powder. We got sugar in there already. Chili powder. My own basket of fire from uh, 2018, and very nice it is too. So I'm going to put, I don't know, half a teaspoon of that. Yeah, maybe a bit less. You don't want to be too hot with a korma. Ah, uh, two spare sugar, that's about it, I think, for that. I'll tell you what, I got these for Christmas, these spoons, and they're brilliant. I, mean, I shan't put this one back on because it's dirty, but where are we? They're magnetic. They stack together and you can use the roundy end for liquids and the uh, pointy end for getting into jars. Just like that. Yeah, bit brilliant. Thank you uh, whoever gave me them. <laughs> Alright, there's all the spices mixed up. Okay now, so I'm going to do this in a few stages. I'm going to make the uh, like uh, onion-y, garlic-y, gingery puree first, I suppose you want to call it. So I'm going to chuckle this in the blender. I might have to chuck a bit smaller actually. Little, got my little blender out for this, I don't need to get the pig one out. Or maybe you do. What are you trying to do? Make a paste up with this. Mm -hmm. It'll fit in there. I'll make it fit. Right, quick whiz. I say, try to make a. You want to say like a puree, but as soon as the noise. Set that to one side. Okay, next up we're going to brown off the uh, the chicken. Uh, a couple of tablespoons of oil, not much. Probably far too much in there. So let's get on to uh, do, 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 do. manual. Yeah. Get it hot. Like I say, all you're going to do is brown the uh, chicken off. You're not trying to cook it. That'll be down to the slow cooker. So. Just have a quick, quick test. Yeah, it's sizzling. I'll do. Thank <laughs> you. 
out there. Right, so I'm going to spoon this. If I can find the spoon. Just into a bowl, save it for a bit. What I've got to now is cut the paste. Ooh, this could take a while because it's a bit moist. Oh, that smells nice. What are you trying to do with this, believe it or not? It's just brown it off a little bit again. As always, I've forgotten ingredient. Salt. <laughs> so, uh, one teaspoon of salt. I'm using fine sea salt. Are there salts, aren't they? Oh. Let's get this going. Come on. Right, that's it now. We're sticking to the bottom so that's ready. Okay, two tablespoons-ish of the outer tomato puree. I think I need a fan or something. <laughs> Hope you can see all this. Right, in with the spices. Whoa. And the teaspoon of salt that I forgot to show you. Oh, that smells lovely, believe me. Okay, back in with the chicken. Sounds lovely. It's, you can tell it's cooking, just it sings to you. You know what I mean? Hear it? Yeah. Right, chicken stock in. 300 mil or so. Bring that back to the boil, simmer for a bit, and then spoon it into the slow cooker. Tell you what, I could eat this now. <laughs> right then guys, this will get a bit awkward this. Um, right, gently spoon it into the slow cooker. As you can hear, the slow cooker is quite hot. Got a lot of washing up to do. <laughs> it's not an overly large portion because it's only me as you know. So, a uh, quick stir. Oh dear, that smells lush. And I'll talk you through this little device in a minute. Right, so that's the lid down. Have you got? Well, there's loads of names for these things. You've got Instant Pot, Magic Pot, or oh, everyone's got their own. This is uh, the Sage Fast Slow Pro, and I like it. So, uh, we're on slow cook, the low setting, four hour timer counting down. And the bit there that says keep warm means it will keep warm even after four hours. So. Okay, so we're about four hours in. Um, I've added half an hour to the timer because I need to cook it a bit longer with the, the lid open. And the last few ingredients to go in. So uh, six tablespoons of ground almond, almond flour, same thing I believe. And uh, double cream, 150 ml of double cream. There we are, double cream. 
So in with the ground almonds, quickly followed by the 150ml of double cream. Give it a stir around and like I said I'm just going to leave the lid open uh, about another half an hour really just to just, just to reduce it down just a little bit. So it looks like a Corman now doesn't it? It's the right colour. Yeah it needs to reduce down just a little bit. Oh, back in half an hour. Right half an hour later and I think you can tell that is a bit thicker. So um, what I did then I took this out and put it into an oven dish kept it warm in the oven for a bit because I wanted to try the uh, fast slow pro on uh, basmati rice. Uh, two cups of rice, two cups of water, uh, pressure cook, rice setting and as you will see in a minute it worked. And here's the finished product and very nice it was too believe me. Um, it made three portions that size so three large portions the, um, with the ingredients I put in the description. If you give it a try then let me know how you get on guys. Take care.